Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a turtle doodle. Actually I'm going to show you how to draw two of them. One of them's more of a beginner's design and it's this one right here. And the second one is a little bit more intermediate or advanced depending on your drawing skill level. So here's the second turtle. I have a video on how to decorate a planner or notebook cover with starburst wrappers, candy wrappers, whatever. And I also have a video on all of my doodles from this planet. Oh yeah, that, that was smart. Try to flip through this. But anyway, there's a bunch of doodles in here. Those are some cool videos you can check out. I'll put the links in the down bar. I laid out a piece of white computer paper. I have a mechanical pencil. I like to use Big Minis. I just do. It's, I don't know, a weird habit. You'll probably want a good eraser too. These ones work pretty well. And you may want a black gel pen. I usually use a Pilot G2, but I can't find it, so this one works just as well. And to color it in at the end, you can use crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Crayola is my favorite, just saying. Start out by drawing the shell, which is a half circle shape. Then I'm going to draw the head, which the neck comes up from the bottom left hand corner of the shell and then a little bit further up draw a little curve. Once you have that you're going to form the shape of the head by making it rounded. Then add the feet in and they're kind of rounded rectangular shapes. You can really add any shape of feet that you want but this is just what I do most of the time and put two others in the back. Add a curved triangular shape to the back of the shell for a tail. For the eyeball, go ahead and draw a circle and leave a white dot in the middle. Draw a little smiley face if you want. For the detailing in the shell, I usually draw hexagons, which is a six-sided shape. So I will start with the one in the middle it's kind of like drawing a soccer ball, and those are kind of difficult to do. Then I'll just go like that. And there you go. I kind of messed up because I don't really like the feet to be that far apart. See how right here, there's just a little space in between all of them. I actually want to fix that. This is driving me nuts, so I just can't deal with it. That's a little better. I'm going to take a green marker. And this one doesn't work. Cool. Color, color, color. And this one's gonna run out too. Color in the other feet. Color the tail. And color the basin. With the dull, boring, not working marker. And if you want to make the lines darker, you can go over them in pencil or the black gel pen. You can even do it in thin black marker, but I don't like to do that. And I'm gonna get a brown color or a tan. And I'm going to color in the shapes on the shell. Now I colored in the shell. To get that effect, you either have to have a marker that's running out of ink, or you can get the same effect by using colored pencils or crayons or oil pastels, something of that sort. And for the eye, I color that in with the black gel pen. Remember not to color in the little white circle because that gives the turtle some character and makes him look more animated. And I also go over his little smile. I'm going to go over all of this with the gel pen to make it look better. If you don't want to outline, then don't do this. Here we have turtle number one. Now for the second turtle, and I am going to open my new pack of markers to color this one in. I'm going to start by drawing the shell shape. It's really not something that I can explain. You just have to look at the shape of it on this video. Maybe pause your screen and duplicate what you see. But as you can see, I guess, I made a little curve here. And then when I bring it up, I'm making another little curve. It kind of goes into a little point again and bring it up into another curve like that. Then on the other side, you're kind of duplicating that. But over here, it's more of a square, a rounded square type thing and it comes out like this. Then you're going to connect the two ends of the shell together with a curved line like this. 
you want to bring that up over here because that's where the head of the turtle is popping out. There's the shape I have drawn so far. So now I'm going to focus on drawing the head of this turtle. You're going to make a little curved shape for the eyelid, then another curved shape for the cheek underneath that. Well, a curved line. I, I don't know why I'm saying shape. And in between those, just a little curved line that joins them together, the eyelash is going to come through at this point. And at the end of the eyelash line is where the curve of the nose is going to start. The other side is rounded for the cheek. Then his little foot is a curved line with a couple little claws poking out. His other eye over here make the eyelash line and a half circle for his eye. Then you're going to put another half circle in that and another even smaller half circle in which is going to be the black part. A little dot on one side of the black part of the eye to form the white animation spot. Um, he needs two little dots on his nose. Remember to finish off with the other eye over here. Half circles again, and one for the black, and then the little white dot. Pretty much though, I did the head like way too big for the shell. So I'm making the shell bigger and I'll just erase the lines that I don't need. Oh, the refrigerator? That's cool. All right, well, I like this shell shape a lot better. So yeah, sometimes, I mean, that's why it's better to use a pencil unless you're really comfortable with what you're doing. I haven't drawn this guy in years. This planner is from 2006, so it has been definitely years since I've drawn a turtle like this. Once you get the shell how you want it, you're going to start adding detailing in, which pretty much you're just making lines to form squares. And then you're putting a line that follows the same contour of the curve that you drew earlier. So let me show you what I mean. Right here, you're going to draw a line all the way across that follows this curve and make it the same width the whole way down to the other side like this. You're going to draw lines, vertical lines up and down just across this entire little strip. And when you do the marker, you can add swirls if you'd like to for the detailing. I leave a little bit of space between this line and this line I'm drawing. Make a kind of a square shape to add some more swirls into the shell. Over here, I'm going to draw another line, curve it down, follow this curve right here. And then at the top, remember, leave some room, some space in between these. You'll have three sectioned off parts on the big part of the shell and then the little squares there. I'm gonna take this green color and I'm going to outline all of the lines on the face not including the eyes and this little foot back here let that dry for a second and you're going to color the entire face in with this marker you want to color over those lines again to make those darker then i'm going to take this green for the color of the eye it's an emerald color for the shell i'm going to take this regular brown and outline the entire thing every single line on it outline it in this brown and then you can do the swirlies with this as well so just start at an area and just follow the line around and once you get to this point don't touch the edge bring it up don't join the line together at any point point. and then you can do really tiny ones in these then I'm gonna take my tan marker and in this case it's a scented one mm -hmm, I don't know what it smells like but I'm just going to color in these little areas between the three big shapes. So that's all I want my tan for, is just that little space right there. And then I have this kind of caramel brown color, and I'm going to use that for all of the other areas on the shell. And the final step is to take your black gel pen, 
fill in the black part of the eyes and fill in the eyelash line. Here we have turtle number two. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what other things you guys want to learn how to draw. Remember to check out all of my links in the down bar and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye. You cannot see this heart. Let me know what or the, uh, what or the, or the, or the, what or the things. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. So... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm a little, I don't know. Sorry for the sniffles. Oh my gosh.